look at the world around me, I see a dance of energy and matter and folding systems that are spectacularly beautiful. That to me is like magic. Science is what led us out of the caves. Discovering fire, how to make a wheel, how to invent agriculture, how to build a city, how to even build buildings, how to build a printing press, how to make vaccines, antibiotics, space travel. Martin, for mankind. All of those things that marched us forward, giving us longer, safer, better lives. All of that started with science. Most scientists don't work in a white lab coat somewhere in little test tubes. A lot of scientists work in that public interest, giving their skills away to the world for almost nothing. We have about 60 people from around the Bay Area who volunteer to dive into the uh, water of the coral reef and then talk to kids and guests behind the glass. And yet today, the scientists go home and get on Twitter or something and see themselves being attacked as charlatans and frauds, even by their own politicians. So this is a weird disconnect of people who need science more than ever, and yet there's this suspicion and distrust and vitriol against some scientists. My PhD is in oceanography and atmospheric science, basically how the climate of our planet works. I built the world's first global biology model with all the forms of life in it represented in equations. So we were the first group in the world that was looking at things like, you know, how do changes in climate affect ecosystems, but also how ecosystems in turn change and affect the climate. I was really close to my mom, and uh, she got sick when I was a teenager. I couldn't do a damn thing to help her. The day before she died, she looked at me and said, you have to promise me one last thing. I need you to do something great in the world. I need you to be the best person you can be. Every day I think about that promise I made. A couple of years ago, I get a call out of the blue asking would I like to run the California Academy of Sciences here in San Francisco. It dawned on me, I said, wait a minute, doing science is good, but if we don't share that science and share it in a way that really connects to people, that science can't serve the world. We scientists, I think, have to do a much better job of connecting to people's hearts, and then we can connect to their heads. Now that I run a museum, I found out the hard way that when we do an exhibit that's just about the facts of, I don't know, climate change or evolution, they don't want to see it. But if we have a beautiful exhibit with a coral reef or a rainforest, all these amazing creatures flying around and swimming through it, everybody connects to it. There's never been a more important moment for human history than right now. This is where everything's on the table. Because we're at this crossroads. The next 10, 20, 30 years max will determine the course of our planet's future for thousands of years. So here we are. I never rehearse speeches. This may seem like a dark time with science under attack and our health, safety, and security being compromised. Went to bed last night and marches were already starting in Australia. Woke up at like five in the morning, couldn't sleep, and they were starting in London. And they're here, and now they're happening simultaneously in every town around the country. Whenever a policy decision has been made, which is based on 
false science. I think it's the duty of every citizen, and particularly every scientist, to stand up and object to this. Now, I know this seems like a dark time with science under attack and our health, safety, and security being compromised every day. But I believe that we will prevail, and this will be our finest hour. I came to stand up and be counted as someone who cares about science and wants science to be used by the people that represent me to make decisions for our planet, for our communities, and for my children. Science drives technology. Science encourages curiosity. The environment is something that we all need, no matter your race, no matter anything else. If we mess our environment up, that's it. We don't get a redo. A lot of us work our whole lives toiling away at this stuff. I don't think anybody even notices. Today was a good day. I think if science can help people connect to something bigger than themselves, and a time longer than their own existence. I think it would change a lot of people's minds. We can be the best version of ourselves, the uh, better angels of our nature, quoting Lincoln. What a magnificent world we would have.